New shooter coverage of IBC 2023 is sponsored by Atlas Lens Co., Atomos, Sennheiser, and b &H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com and IBC 2023. I'm back with Kathy at the Kinfinity booth. Now this is your new Mavo Mark II, so it's available in both S35 and large format versions. Uh, just give me a quick rundown. This was announced earlier this year. Yeah, um, these two camera, one is for Super 35, the other one is large format, was released um, early this year. I think it's around January. And this camera is the form, fact, uh, form factor is similar to our flagship camera Marvel Edge. Um, but this camera is have a lower price and it's more economic choice. Uh, and the Super 35 version is has a higher FPS. It can realize 6K 75 and a ProRes 4444XQ. And this camera has a um, NVMe M.2 SSD slots, but uh, the differences between this camera and Marvel Edge is, is without the uh, internal END, but uh, the price is better. It has only 4000 for the camera body, so um, it already been used for a lot of our clients, and they think that, that the camera is a good choice for um, entry-level uh, indie filmmakers and some uh, pr productions. And does this have a dual native ISO, this camera? Uh, yeah, uh, all of our cameras, cinema camera, have dual native ISO. This one is 8, 000, uh, 800 and 3,200. And um, yeah, the, the highlights, uh, the, the low light performance is just like, uh, um, it's, uh, this one, this one, uh, the LF version will be better. It's just uh, similar with the Marvel H6K, it's uh, 800 and 5,120. So that one is a better low light performance, yeah. And you mentioned before that it doesn't have built-in um, ND, this one, but you can use one of your uh, adapters yeah. that has ND in it and also a variety of different lens mounts. Yeah, uh, it has a PL END and EF END and using the EF enhancer, it, you can also can realize large formats on this camera. So there are a lot of choice to, to use and it's a, like a DIY camera that you can just have a lot of choice when uh, shooting, not just the mounts. And also we have the uh, our new active E-mount and you can see it's together with the new Cook lens, the SP3 and, and it can, uh, the active E-mount is a sim, uh, different from our previous one. It can uh, realize, you can just change the focus uh, and the, the zoom inside the camera in the menu. Yeah, so it's just uh, uh, a new step of this uh, mounting systems. 